Okay, everyone. So today we're going to review um, voiceover and how to use, um, not the keyboard yet, but just our finger gestures for uh, voiceover on our iPad. So I have a previous email, or I'm sorry, video on how to set up voiceover. So go ahead and watch that first. And then today I'll let I'll show you how to navigate using just gestures, hand gestures, okay? So get your iPad ready. Here we go. Okay, the first thing I want you to know is um, that when you scroll or when you select App Store, double tap to open, actions available, calendar, Monday, clock, 4.30, maps, it's double not, tap to open, it's not actions available. It's not going to select when you touch to begin with. Nothing will happen unless you, like you heard, you double click to open. That's the only way you're gonna be able to get into one of these is if you double click to open. So let me just take this. Google folder, six apps. Double tap to open, actions available. Opening Google folder, Google, heading. So I literally. Double tap and hold to start edit mode. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. Then double tap to activate. So I literally uh, basically selected and I double tap to, to enter the what I want to go into. So whether docs. if it's docs, I double, double click. Docs. And now menu. I'm on docs. Button. Okay? So always Shows the menu remember to navigate to other file views to change users. So always remember that you um, can select by double select Chrome Drive. by clicking on the docs. item once. Slides. However, double tap to open. If you want to open it, you need to make sure you double click. Okay? So the other thing, control center, airplane mode, switch button. What I want you to know is Google, okay, heading. Double tap and hold to start edit. So we're in here and I want to go home. And hold to start edit mode. So anyway, when you are in a screen you no longer want and you want to go home, you can usually, depending on your iPad version, you can just hit the home button and it takes you home. But if you don't have that, there's um, basically you scroll, you use a finger, and it usually you can hear two clicks when you when you swipe. So you grab an edge of the screen, and I'm gonna pick my left hand side bottom left hand side on the bottom I'm just gonna grab the edge and I'm gonna scroll and I'm gonna hear a tick tick it's gonna like two um, it's gonna give me like two button um, sounds I'm sorry two sounds so let's see if it's gonna and it gives me two and then it's gonna take me home Oh, it's not working. Closing Google folder. Google folder. Six apps. Okay. Double tap to open. So practice that because it should work. It it go into a an app or something, and practice that. It should you should go and be able to scroll on an edge, and you should hear two sounds, and then let go, and it takes you back home. I'm gonna practice that myself again. Okay, so I've been practicing it myself. So let's listen to the two noises. Doing it again. There they are. Google folder. Google they're, folder. Six apps. They're, re tap to open. they're really quick. Let's try again. See if you can hear them. Open. Okay. So I'm gonna grab an edge and I'm gonna scroll with one of my fingers up. Oh. Closing Google folder. And it, it gives me it gives me two sounds very quickly, and I just let go and it Google takes folder. me back home. Six apps. Okay, so that's one thing you could practice on. The next thing you might be interested in is most of our kids obviously not have more than one uh, page to scroll through, and the command for that is your three fingers. Page two of nine to Trace swipe. Numbers. I have nine pages apparently, so I can page scroll Guess the app. using my three fingers. Page five of nine. Page six of nine. And the the same thing. I can scroll back using my three nine. fingers. Page four of nine. F4, page three of nine. Guess the app, page two of nine. Trace numbers, home, page one of nine. Translate. Double. 
Okay, so that's how you scroll. Using three fingers, you just scroll, okay? And you scroll the up opposite direction. So you scroll from the right hand, uh, like the middle of your page on the edge, and you just scroll using three fingers. And if you want to go back, same three fingers. H however, it's on the left-hand side, the middle of um, the edge, right about the middle, and then you scroll. Page two of nine. Tra page three of nine. Page two of nine. Home. Okay. Page one of nine. Translate. So here's Double another finger open. gesture. You ready? The next thing you will want to do is know how to use your finger gestures to um, go into an app switcher. And what that means is for you to see all the apps that are open so that you can get rid of them. Okay. So here we go. So what you'll need to do is use again one finger and it's going to be very quickly. You have to listen. It's going to give you three different sounds. Well, it shouldn't be different. It's the same sounds, but it's going to be three sounds. So I'm going to grab my finger bottom of my screen. I'm going to scroll up. Voice memos. Oh, sorry. Double tap to open. Actions available. Home. Translate. Double tap. App switcher. Docs. Swipe. It's hard because it's talking so much, but it goes, it's like three bubbles. It goes boop, 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 and then it gives me this. So this is your app switcher. This is where you're gonna see all the apps you have open, and sometimes your iPad goes crazy because you have so many things open, and this is where we get rid of them, okay? So I'm gonna do this one more time. Go home, do you remember how to go home? Translate. You go at, from an edge and you swipe up and you're going to hear like boop, boop, two bubbles. Mm -hmm. Two bubbles means home. When you hear three bubbles, that means um, your app switcher, okay? So here we go. Let's try it again. One finger, and it could be anywhere on the edge. I just, I like to do it right in the middle on mine. And you're going to listen for three bubbles to open your app switcher. App switcher, docs. Swipe up with three fingers to close the app. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. Then double tap to activate. Okay, so this is very important. In order for us to get rid of whatever selected, which is docs, it's three fingers, swipe up. Closing docs, paint sparkle. Closing paint sparkle, puzzle. Puzzle, I want to close puzzle. that. 123 toddler. I want to close that too. Closing 120, Lego juniors. I want to close Closing that. Closing Lego junior, me. Closing me, Google calendar. Closing Google Ca app store. Closing app store, mail. Closing mail. Epic. Closing Epic. Translate. Double tap to open. Actions there. available. And I got rid of all my apps, so my iPad is not going to go crazy on me. That's how you remove your apps that are open using finger gestures. So app app switcher. Don't forget the middle, bottom, and listen for three bubble, bubbles to pop. Voice memos. Oops. Double tap to open. App. Oh, I went home. home. You, Translate. I, I don't know if you heard it. It was two bubbles. I'm looking for three. App switcher has no items. Oh, we did it, but the, there's no items, so there's nothing there for me to look at. So that's how you get into your app switcher. Again, your home button is, um, it could be up here, it could be on any edge. I just, I like to do it back here. And it's, if it's home already, oh. it's gonna stay there. But the other one that you can find is your um, notification bar. And that notification bar is going to give you the time and date and all of that. Control center. Airplane Your mode. control center on. is another one you would want to navigate. Controls. Double tap to toggle setting. Swipe up. Okay, so we'll stop on our app switcher and then we'll pick up on another video. So go ahead and practice all the finger gestures I just introduced. And then watch video two for the rest of them. Thank you so much for being here with me.